In a world of internet fraud, terrorists, and serial killers, it's only normal that the number of maximum security prisons in the United States is on the rise. While there are many prisons in the U.S. Federal Correctional Complex, none of them could be compared to ADX Florence, the maximum security correctional facility. ADX Florence Prison stands out when compared to other prisons for so many reasons. That is why in today's video, we are going to explain the uniqueness of the prison and how the prisoners are treated. Just in case you're planning anything criminal, or you're just curious about how those who are on the wrong side of the law live, I recommend that you sit till the end of this video to get the answers to all of your questions. Now, what better place is there to start than at the beginning? Several years ago, the Fremont County government bought the land for the correctional facility and ADX Florence was allocated $60 million to build. In January 1995, ADX Florence officially became functional. It's presently the only prison in the United States with the strictest known regime. It gained this title in 2006 after Marion was declared a medium security correctional facility. There are a number of things that makes ADX Florence different from other prisons, but there are three main components of the prison that stand out. The infrastructure, the noiseless compound, and the special guards. The buildings at ADX Florence were elaborately built. Every office and cell is sparkling and dirt-free. Unlike other prisons, there are no insect marks or drawings on the wall. The immaculacy of the compound makes it easy to believe that the architect who designed the buildings was a perfectionist who wouldn't accept any form of defacing. The difference between ADX Florence and a graveyard would be the chirping of birds and insects. If you want to understand the term absolute silence, you could visit this prison. The silence throughout the prison is deadly, and this is because prisoners never cross paths or see each other. ADX Florence opened its doors to journalists for the first time in 2007. Every one of the journalists had something to say about the silence in the compound. They all said they experienced the oppressive feeling of silence. It is normal in other prisons for guards to have contact with the inmates, whether it's to maintain order in the yard or to open and close cells, but in ADX Florence, the guards have zero contact with the inmates. The prison is packed with video cameras, and inmates are closely watched. The cell doors are operated from a control room, hence guards are not needed. Added to that are the strict rules the guards have to follow. If there were to be any contact between an inmate and a guard, the guards are not allowed to look the inmates in the eyes or utter swear words. Of the 4,000 correctional facilities in the United States, ADX Florence is the only one that used a control unit system. The system involves the inmates being kept in complete isolation. Every inmate has their own cell and they spend 23 hours a day alone in them. To make sure that inmates have no form of conversations, the walls in each cell are fully soundproofed. Every inmate is allocated a single cell. The cell is 3.5 by 2 meters in size. The cell has a window that is 1.2 by 1.2 meters. Every part of the cell, including the furniture, is made of cast concrete. The plumbing is unlike anything you know. The shower in each cell has a timer attached to it. The sinks have no taps, so that the prisoner has no way to harm himself. The window in the cells only allows a view of the roof and the sky, and there's a reason for this. The view doesn't permit the inmate to see the compound, so he can't tell what the surrounding looks like, and therefore cannot plan to escape. And this has worked effectively over the years. ADX Florence has not recorded any escapes since 1995. If you're wondering what someone could have done to deserve such a prison, I'll tell you. There are two ways one could get into this prison. First, try becoming a terrorist or a criminal who threatens national security, and you'll get a one-way ticket to ADX Florence. The prison holds many terrorists, some members of Al-Qaeda, who were fortunate enough to be captured. Or, you could become a violent serial killer. You could get a regular prison, but if you become a danger to other inmates and guards, you will surely end up in ADX Florence. ADX Florence is populated with criminals whose escape would pose a threat to national security. Among these are also criminals who have become a serious threat to the lives of people in regular prisons. This is why ADX Florence cannot be anything less than a very strict maximum security prison. To ensure the security of the compound, there are dozens of surveillance cameras all around the compound. There are also motion sensors that would alert the guards in the event of unsanctioned movement. The prison's fence is an almost 4 meters long barbed wire fence. 
The surveillance center of the prison is always functioning. Every cell, door, hallway is being watched from there. In the case of any danger, the security guards instantly lock the prison's 1,400 doors. The doors are locked by the push of one button in the surveillance center. There are anti-aircraft cables stretched over the prison, so it would be impossible for drones to fly into the compound. There are also service dogs that patrol the compound for extra security. With all the security measures applied by the prison, no one in their right mind would attempt an escape unless they're ready to lose their life in the process. As if the already existing security measures are not enough, the prisoners never get the chance to talk to anyone. They are practically all by themselves all day and only get one hour to take a walk. These walls are spontaneous and so at the selected time, an assigned guard picks up the prisoners one at a time. The prisoner whose turn it is is handcuffed, chained, and taken to an enclosed place for the walk. You would hope the room designated for walks would be a large one, but it isn't. It's a tiny room. It takes 10 steps to walk across it diagonally, 31 steps to walk around it in a circle. The lack of communication is strictly enforced to the point that the prisoners are not allowed to eat in halls like regular prisons. Their food is brought to their cells by guards who silently hand over the food and leave immediately. Note that the criminals are mostly fed with mashed food, which means no prisoner can harm himself with food. ADX Florence has a holding capacity of 490 inmates at a time, but thankfully, there are not enough criminals to fully occupy the prison. The prison is designed to break even the hardest of criminals and re-educate them. A period of three years is set out for each inmate, and as I have already established, they spend the three years in complete solitude. It's believed that even the most notorious criminals become calm after a long period of solitude. Although solitude is one of the worst punishments a person could face, it has its upside. The prison never had a single case of coronavirus, and it's all thanks to the isolation system. Inmates who show good behavior are encouraged. They get books and newspapers. Every newspaper that comes into the prison is thoroughly checked for ciphers that could be used to pass information to prisoners. All newspapers are also stripped of any information about terrorist attacks like 9-11. On rare occasions, a prisoner with good behavior could exchange his walk for a phone call. Of course, they're only allowed to call a limited number of people, which includes a lawyer. Lawyers are allowed to meet with their clients, but that's all. Good behavior could also be rewarded with the installation of a small mirror-like screen into the inmate's cell. The device is fastened to the wall and can be used to watch educational or religious programs. One could also get a radio or television for good behavior, but that is a very rare occurrence. After a few years of compliance to rules and regime, a prisoner may be transferred to other regular prisons where the rules are not so strict. Inmates who are terrorists, however, do not enjoy this leniency because they're perceived as threats to national security. Among the many prisoners held in ADX Florence is Joaquin Guzman, popularly known as El Chapo, the leader of the Sinaloa Cartel. Guzman founded the Sinaloa Cartel in the 1980s and to date, they are a terror in Mexico City. Their drug network and acts of terror make them the largest cartel in Mexico. Guzman was able to escape from Mexican prisons twice using underground tunnels, but in 2016 he was arrested again by the Mexican authorities. He was extradited to the United States the next year and was sentenced to life in prison and 30 more years without the possibility of parole. Since he proved too smart for regular prisons, Guzman is currently serving time in ADX Florence. The strict regime in ADX Florence was meticulously planned to ensure that the worst criminals can be safely contained and rehabilitated. ADX Florence is very efficient at what it does, so before you think of committing a crime, think of ADX Florence.